Hello guys, welcome to Macout Smashers and also welcome to our deep dive video into the fascinating world of operating system. Today we will unreveal what is an operating system and is and why it is the backbone of every computer system. From managing the hardware to providing a user interface, that operating system is crucial in making the computer functional and efficient. We will explore its core components, functions and how it has evolved over time. Whether you are a student or just curious about how your computer works, this video will give you a solid understanding of operating system. So let's get started and uncover the magic behind the scenes of your favorite tech. At first, introduction to operating system. An operating system is essential software that manages a computer's hardware and software resources, acting as an intermediary between the users and hardware. It handles the process management by overseeing the execution of applications and multitasking. Memory management. Memory management is another crucial function, ensuring the efficient allocation and deallocation of memory. The operating system also manages the file systems, organizing and controlling the how data is stored and retrieved. It interfaces with the hardware peripherals through the device management and provides the user interfaces like graphical user interfaces or command line interfaces. Security and access control mechanisms protect the data from unauthorized access, while networking capabilities enable the communication between the computers. The operating system also detects and handles the errors, monitoring the system performance and optimizes the resource uses, ensuring the efficient resource allocation among the users and applications. Now it is time to discuss about the examples of operating systems. Operating systems come in various forms, each catering to different types of devices and user needs. Windows, developed by Microsoft, is a widely used operating system for personal computers. Known for its user-friendly interface and extensive software compatibility. Linux, an open-source operating system, is favored for its flexibility, security and use in servers and development environments. Apple's macOS powers Mac computers, offering a sleek interface and seamless integration with other Apple products. Android, developed by Google, dominates the mobile operating system market with its open-source nature and vast app ecosystem, making it a popular choice for smartphones and tablets. iOS, also by Apple, is exclusive to iPhones and iPads, known for its smooth performance, security, and a well-curated app store. Each of these operating systems has distinct features and advantages, catering into a diverse range of users and devices. Okay. So now it is time to discuss about the historical context of operating system. The evolution of operating system traces back to the early days of computing in 1950s and 1960s. Initially, computers operated without OS, requiring the programmers to manually manage the hardware through the punch cards and assembly languages. The advent of batch processing systems in 1960s marked a significant step, automating the job sequencing. The in 1970s introduced the time sharing systems allowing the multiple users to interact with the computer simultaneously exemplified by unix which laid the foundation for many modern operating system in 1980s the uh, saw the personal computing revolutionized by the release of microsoft's ms dos and later windows which brought the graphical user interfaces gui to the mainstream. Concurrently, Apple's Machintosh introduced its GUI-based operating system, emphasizing the ease of use. In 1990s, witnessed the rise of Linux, an open-source operating system that provided a robust alternative and appropriately system. The 21th century brought the mobile operating system to the forefront with the emergence of Android and iOS, transforming the landscape of personal computing and connectivity. Today, operating systems continue to evolve, driving the innovation in technology and shaping the way we interact with digital devices. So now it is time to discuss about the components of an operating system. An operating system comprise the several key components 
that work together to manage a computer's resources and provide a seamless user experience. The kernel is a core component responsible for managing the system resources including the CPU, memory and the device input-output. Process management oversees the execution of applications ensuring the efficient CPU scheduling and multitasking. Memory management handles the allocation and deallocation of memory spaces optimizing the use of RAM. The file system component organizes and controls how data is stored, retrieved and managed on the storage devices. Device driver facilitates the communication between the OS and the hardware peripherals such as printer, keyboard and monitors. The user interface which can be graphical user interface or command line interface provides the means for users to interact with the computer. Security and access control protect the system integrity by managing the user permissions and preventing the unauthorized access. Network networking components enable the communication and data sharing between the computers over the local and wide area networks. Error detection and handling identify, report and manage the system errors, ensuring the stability and reliability. Finally, system utilities and services perform the routine tasks like file backup, disk cleanup and system monitoring, enhancing the overall system performance and maintenance. So now it is time to discuss about the core functions of an operating system. An operating system performs the several core functions essential for efficient management and operation of a computer system. At first, process management. It is crucial as it involves the creation, the scheduling and the termination of processes. The operating system allocates the CPU time to various processes, enabling the multitasking and ensuring that each process receives the necessary, necessary resources to execute the smoothly. This function also includes handling the processes synchronization and inter-process communication IPC, to prevent the conflicts and ensure the data integrity. Now memory management. Memory management is another fundamental function responsible for managing the computer's RAM. The operating system allocates memory to different processes ensuring that each process has enough memory for to function while preventing the memory leaks and fragmentation. It uses techniques like paging and segmentation to efficiently utilize the memory and protect the memory space of different processes, enhancing the system stability and performance. Now, file system management functions organizes and manages the data on storage devices. It provides the hierarchical structure for storing and retrieving the files, ensuring the data integrity and security. The operating system handles the file operations such as creation, deletion, reading and writing and it manages the access permission to protect the files from unauthorized access. It also, also ensures the efficient use of storage space through the techniques like file compression and indexing. So now device management. It involves managing the hardware devices and ensuring they work correctly with the computer system. Operating system uses the device drivers to communicate with hardware peripherals. Translating operating system commands into device specific instructions. This function includes handling the input output operation, managing the device buffers and ensuring that devices are properly initialized and configured. Device management is crucial for the seamless operation of peripherals like printer, keyboard and network interfaces. So some other functionalities like system performance monitoring, system utilities and services, error detection and handling, networking, okay. And also security and access control, also user interfaces. So these are the functions of operating systems, okay. Now it is time to discuss about the operating system structure. So operating system structure define how the operating system organize and how its component interact. The monolithic architecture or structure is one of the simplest and most traditional forms where the entire oper operating system operates in a single layer or address space allowing for efficient performance but making debugging and maintenance is challenging. Layered structure address this by organizing the operating system into the hierarchical layer each with a specific function enhancing the modularity and maintainability. The microkernel structure 
further refine this concept by minimizing the kernel to essential functions like interprocess communication and basic IO control with other services running in user space, improving system reliability and security. Modular structure allow the dynamic loading and unloading of modules, providing the flexibility and extensibility seen in system like Linux. Client server structures distribute the operating system functions between the client and server processes, typically used in network environment to facilitate the scalability and remote management. Virtual machines create an abstract layer allowing the multiple operating system instances to run on a single physical machine, each with its located environment or isolated environment, which is pivotal for cloud computing and development. Last is Exokernels. It offers a minimalistic approach by giving application more control over hardware resources, optimizing the performance for a specialized task. Each structure has its advantages and trade-offs, shaping how operating systems are designed and implemented to meet very deep requirements and use cases. Now it is time to discuss about the concurrency and synchronization in operating system. These are the crucial concepts in operating system enabling the multiple processes or threads to execute simultaneously and efficiently share the resources. Concurrency allows the multiple tasks to make the progress within the overlapping time periods, significantly enhancing the system performance and resource utilization. It's essential for multitasking environments where the various applications and services run concurrently, improving the responsiveness and throughput. However, concurrency introduces the complexity such as race conditions where the outcome depends on the unpredictable timing of task execution, potentially leading to inconsistency or erroneous result. To manage these challenges, synchronization mechanisms are employed to coordinate the execution of concurrent tasks and ensure the correct sequencing and data integrity. Common synchronization tools like mute mute access like mutual exclusion, semaphores which control access the shared resources by allowing only one task to modify the resource at a time. Condition variable and monitors provide the more advanced synchronization by allowing the task to wait for certain condition to be met before proceeding. Okay, so deadlock. Deadlock is a critical issue in synchronization. Okay where the task get stuck waiting for resources held by each other halting progress to prevent the deadlock operating system implement the strategy such as resource allocation of ordering and deadlock detection algorithm atomic operations and lock free data structure further enhance the synchronization by enabling the task to perform the compound operation on shared data without interference so by efficiently managing the concurrency and synchronization operating system ensure the efficient and reliable execution of multiple tasks maintaining the system stability and performance okay now it is time to discuss about the memory management techniques these are the vital for optimizing the allocation and the use of computers memory ensuring efficient operation and stability paging paging is a widely used technique that divides the memory into fixed size pages, allowing the non-contiguous allocation and eliminating the fragmentation, which enhances the flexibility and resource utilization. Segmentation Segmentation divides the memory into variable sized segments based on the logical division of a program, facilitating the easier access control and protection. Virtual memory extends the physical memory by using the disk space to simulate the additional RAM, enabling the execution of large applications and multitasking by swapping the data between the RAM and disk as needed. Memory partitioning can be either static or dynamic, where static partitioning divides the memory into fixed size at startup, while dynamic partitioning adjusts the sections based on the process need, improving the memory utilization. Body system is an another technique splitting the memory into power of two size block to minimize the fragmentation and manage the free space efficiently. Garbage collection automatically reclaims the memory occupied by unused objects 
prevalent in languages like java enhancing the memory management without manual intervention by employing these techniques operating system maximize the memory efficiency performance and security ensuring and reliable execution of applications so now the modern trends and challenges in operating system it revolve around adapting to evolving the technologies and addressing the complex user demands cloud computing it has significantly influenced the operating system design emphasizing the virtualization scalability and resource management to efficiently handle the distributed computing environment security security is a paramount concern with the operating system needing the robust mechanism to counter the increasingly sophisticated cyber threats requiring the advancement in encryption access control and real time threat detection mobility and the rise of smartphones and the tablets demand operating system that are optimized for power efficiency and connectivity and the user simplicity exemplified by the android and ios artificial intelligence and machine learning integration into operating system is another trend enabling the smart resource management predictive maintenance and enhanced user experiences the proliferation of iot or internet of things devices introduce the challenges in managing the numerous interconnected devices with diverse requirements necessitating lightweight and real time operating system solution edge computing it shifts the data processing closer to data sources requiring the operating system to handle the real time processing and low latency communication efficiency furthermore sustainability and reducing the environmental impact of computing lead to innovation in energy efficient operating system design balancing these trends and challenges is critical for developing the future ready operating system that are secure efficient and adaptable so at the end of the video thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of operating systems we have covered the essential components functions the evolution of operating system giving you a clearer picture of how your computer manages the tasks and resources if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tech insights got questions or thoughts or uh, so drop them in the comments below we have love to hear from you stay tuned for more exciting topics and remember understanding the basics of operating system is a fast step toward the mastering the computer science see you in the next time until then keep exploring and keep learning